Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Rule the Waves 3 with uh, live commentary. The last part is going to have post commentary because I screwed up my recording settings in OBS and uh, accidentally recorded using a profile that is set up for a single audio track, uh, which is not the audio track that my microphone is on. So, um, yeah, we get, uh, <laughs> yeah, no audio on that one. Oh, well. That's fine. We'll survive. I'm just gonna have to try to deal with doing post commentary. Uh, but we're back. Uh, last part, we had our second war with France and we wrapped it up that part. Um, the US got involved, they didn't really do anything. They were mostly just kind of there as a show of support for the French, I guess. Uh, Germany eventually got involved and we got a couple of minor skirmishes with them and uh, beat the shit out of the uh, Lotharangan because we got a very lucky shot in with the, one of the uh, uh, one of the Yashima classes. Uh, I don't know which one it was. I don't know if the game... Oh, yep, here we go. <laughs> it was the uh, the Kashima. It landed a main battery hit on the Lothrangan um, during the Battle of the Java Sea. Is that the right one? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I don't know which one it was. I didn't pay attention. I have to double check on the video. But one, one of these two smacked it and destroyed the electric system. Go ahead and get the timer started. And, uh, well, let's, you know, hope we actually have the ability to try to rebuild finally because we haven't really had the opportunity to do that. Now, one thing that should be noted, we did, last part, finally get out a CVL, the uh, Zuio dedicated CVL. But um, I don't know if we can build dedicated carriers yet. Um, but even if we can't, it may not be the best CVL that we can build. Yeah, so we can't do anything larger than 16,000. And yeah, we don't have the ability to build. Okay, so no, never mind. This is uh, probably realistically the best we can build anyway, uh, barring some minor changes. The Zuiho is state of the art as far as we're concerned at this time, actually, so that's fine. Um, carry division, let's go ahead and slap the Zuiho in there. Let's go ahead. So we got uh, some some designs here that are going to be finishing up soon. And so to increase muzzle velocity, improved electric engines, all of that is very nice. Uh, yep, we're going to go ahead and queue up uh, four of those for now. We're not going to build those yet right now because we don't really have the money. We're waiting for a fair bit of stuff to finish. And unfortunately, we lost like all of our budget during that war. Medium bombers, um, as per usual, always go for the one that has the most range because that is, as far as I'm concerned, a very important aspect. So we're going to go with the Yokosuka here. Sure, let's try to get a new float plane scout. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and try to save a little bit of money. We're going to take our spying off of the Italians and the Spanish because we don't really care about them. The rest of them, how out and the the Russians, we don't really care about them either. Um, I would love to go to war with China again, because I would love to take back our lost territories that we lost when they had a revolution. But uh, so far we have had no luck with those attempts. Uh, but maybe one day. Maybe one day. Uh, we'll keep, uh, you know, I don't really need particularly high intelligence with the French so much. Because I don't think we're going to go to war with the French anytime soon again, but whatever. Yashimas are about to finish. Uh, nope, don't bother. I'll send it in for a refit myself when the time's right. Because last part, we also got improved director firing, which is a very, very useful improvement, especially since, as I alluded to earlier, the Yashimas still had central firing when they landed that shot 
on the uh, the Lothringen last part. So yeah, that's a fairly significant improvement as far as I'm concerned. Uh, you want to reclassify this as a BB, which technically doesn't matter. I don't know if fast battleships have been unlocked yet, but you would technically qualify as a fast battleship if they have. And I think you probably... I think fast battleships might exist because the speed requirements for a battle cruiser changes once uh, fast battleships unlock, or at least it's supposed to. I don't know if the speed requirements for a battle cruiser changes at all beyond that as well. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, but technically you should be a battle, a dreadnought now, technically. Um, and I'm fine with, yeah, we can do that. I can live. I can live with that. Dual purpose. Those, granted, this is not a particularly great design. Um, I, I really don't think this is a great design. That's a hideous place to put a catapult. Um, how about we just do an aft center line, huh? Uh, no, that doesn't really work. Well, technically it doesn't really matter because you're always going to place it there. So we're just going to say it's on top of the rear turret. That's fine with me. Slap a little bit of medium AA on this and some light AA to wrap it up, I guess. Uh, can I give you... Nope, okay. You do have the maximum number of rounds that are allowed, so that's fine. Okay, yep, I'm fine with that. Those are fairly pricey as well, but that's fine. Yeah, I'll try to get more destroyers once we have the... If you guys want me to get me more destroyers, just give me more money. That's the easiest way to do it. Give me more money and I can give you more destroyers. But otherwise, I don't really want to hear any complaints. Because I can only do so much for that. The French are interested in buying something and I need the money, so sure, France. I don't think we're going to fight each other again, are we? You have nothing I want and you don't have the ability to wage war against me. I'm sure that we can become the best of pals. Maybe beat the shit out of the Italians or something. I don't know. I mean, I can't fight Italy, so if you if you want to do that, you're doing it by yourself. But I don't know. We can fight Italy or something. Or you can go to Worth Britain. I'm sure you'd like to go and kick Britain's ass. I can help you with that. Weight savings on turrets is always nice. Yoko has been commissioned. Germany. That's expensive. But I want it. Because then I don't have to research it either. That is worse in basically every metric, Mitsubishi. The only thing it has going for it is slightly better maneuverability. But everything else is worse. No. Now you want nine more destroyers. You wanted seven before. Now you want nine. Again, give me some more money and I can do it. But until you give me more money, it's a little bit hard for me to be able to do it. Shikishima's... God, these things are still in service and there's nothing we can do with them. I'm going to mothball these because they just are not that good. They really aren't. Okay, now I don't really have the money to do it, but we're going to go ahead and say screw it. You guys want 9? I'll give you 10. But I'm going to have to put something on pause. So we're going to pause the Nachi. Um, I think we can just barely eke that by. Not mothballing you guys, reserve fleet you guys. Yeah. Let's go. 
Look at that. Um, I think that will set to reserve as well. Actually, speaking of that, naval air stations, I think you guys could probably use a different setup, right? Because we have medium button. Nope, okay. You, the medium bomber is not ready yet, is it? No, it's got one more turn, so you're not interested. Now you'll care. Disband. Auto. Um, somebody needs to be upgraded. Disband you. Anybody else need upgrades? Nope, okay. So, copy. Yep, copy it to all of those guys. Disband all the existing as well. That'll save us a little bit of money as well as they have to rebuild them. So that'll be like a turn of a little bit extra cash coming in instead of going out, but not for long. Miyoko finish its working up. Wonderful. Gradual increase in ASW. Okay. Ever so minor improvement in range with the Kawasaki. Um, but a decent-ish improvement in speed. We'll take it because we need a new one anyway. Is offering to, I'll buy it. Don't have the money though, but I'm gonna. I'll buy it anyway. Got two more turns till the uh, Akashi is done with its rebuild, which will save us a little bit of money. Um, one of our minor allies on the Asian mainland is threatened by a neighbor. Who? Uh, so I'm gonna be completely honest. This is where we run into a bit of a, a gameplay issue. Um, who would be our ally on the Asian mainland? And who would they be getting threatened by? Presumably Britain, because that's about the only... the only power, really, on the Asian mainland beyond China. Maybe Russia? Maybe? Depending upon exactly where in the Asian mainland we're referring to. You know, if it's the Kazakhstan area, then okay, maybe Russia. But... Why would we be allied with them? We'd have no ability to reinforce them in any way. Beyond wagging our finger at whoever attempts to invade them and saying, bad boy. We'll back our ally unconditionally for the extra money. Dual purpose main armament. Wonderful. Looks like tensions went up with France. I don't know who the hell... France is trying to invade on the Asian mainland, but apparently somebody. Uh, sure. And the Yoshino won the Prime Minister's Cup. Wonderful for it. New float plane scout, and it is worse than our existing one, which means it's even worse than the one that's being worked on. Reserve fleet you. Reserve fleet you. Why are you not in the home area? I don't know. It's not the easiest way to move you. Move you there. Wonderful. That's That came at just the perfect time. Now we're bringing in money. I can try to see if we can eke out the Nashi before we run out of money. Um, you know, technically if I maybe take off spying on everybody a little bit, because do we really need to spy on everybody? Probably not. Let's go ahead and try to save some money. Oh, wonderful. Got that as well. Second round of 
industrial productivity improvements. Spain finally crushes the rebels in Guantanamo Bay. We're still losing money, but not quite as quickly. Still not sure who the hell of France was threatening to invade on the Asian mainland. Because I don't think they have a way of getting to anybody. At this point in time, Pakistan would be a British colony. Maybe we're allied with Iran, but I don't know if you consider Iran Asian mainland or not. I mean, technically, I guess it probably is on the Asian continent. But you'd probably just still refer to it as, you know, a, a Middle Eastern ally or something instead of saying Asian mainland. I doubt it's Mongolia because that'd be more of Russia. So I... France was threatening somebody because they got pissed when we agreed to back our ally unconditionally, but I got... I don't got the faintest clue as to who. Um, well, maybe somewhere else in Indochina, maybe? You know, one of the places that doesn't have a naval base that we can take over? Eh, maybe, but I don't know how they would plan to actually invade. They'd have to sail through us. And especially if we back our ally unconditionally, they're sure as hell not landing. Third round of industrial improvement. Wonderful. We might actually make some money. We say that as they decide they want to cut our budget. I'll... I'm going to tell you no. I mean, you're still going to cut the budget, but I can at least tell you to piss off. Got the prestige for it. And I can slightly offset the decrease by raising tensions, in this case with Russia. Why Russia got upset? I don't know, because it's not like we're going to fight each other. They got nothing I want, and I got nothing they want. Well, that's not true. I got plenty that they want. They just don't have any hopes of actually taking it from us. Uh... World cruises for our young cadets. Send some of our newest and most powerful ships. Which I think is the Yashimas. Technically speaking for newest and most powerful. That's supposed to increase tensions. And it did with France again. France needs to chill. Germany and USA's alliance expires. Wonderful. Maybe Germany and France will go to war. And then I can help Germany kick France's ass again. There we go. Twin dual-purpose mounts for 3 and 4 inch guns. Okay, we got one more turn. We'll be able to just barely eke this out. Triple turrets on CLs. I would never put a triple turret on a CL because you can't dual purpose triple guns. At least as far as I recall. Unless something changed and I missed it. Now we're finally going to bring in some money instead of just losing it. Of course, I say that before we proceed to go ahead and lose it all because we need to do some upgrades because even though the Shikishimas are ancient and we should not be using them anymore they are still too good to give up entirely actually can I scrap one of them without you complaining I can can I scrap another I can thank you because these are old and realistically all right we can wait okay I need to build some more, but that's fine. We designed the Aki class. Middle of the Aki is a little bit outdated now because we can build slightly larger ships at 43,000 tons. Um, we are not doing an all forward design. Let's try this again. Let's try this again and again. Thank you. I didn't want to have to try to redo the uh, superstructure. Um, get rid of that aft center line. We don't need it. Literally does us no good. 
rid of the tertiary graphics because you, you don't add those automatically. Uh, you only need two, and you do not need two catapults. You will do a midship catapult located there. Unit machinery. The Aki was 27 knots. We can manage 28 now. We're going to do box magazine. Hell yes. Uh, four five inch belt or deck rather top side exceeded well that's fine we'll do top side last get rid of those torpedoes they're useless for us i want 100 rounds for gun okay let's see this is our nice fancy 16 inch guns that we haven't done anything with yet Beyond design a ship that we're not going to build because as it turns out we can now do something better a couple of years later got three we got a little under four thousand left of budget what do we spend it on well we can uh see if we can achieve 30 knots you said that has to be a battle cruiser i don't want to do a battle cruiser we'll do 29 knots i'm fine with 29 knots um oh i forgot to increase the uh number of Guns per turret. Can we do full triples? Nope. Not yet. Hall is too narrow for A and Y to be triples unless I drop torpedo protection to level one. Actually, I'd have to completely drop torpedo protection to do this. I don't want to do that because it's important enough for me. So only the superimposed will be triple turrets. Uh, 250 rounds there, 250 rounds there, even though we can increase those further. I'm fine with 250 rounds. I think it works out just fine for me. Hmm. Let me use up all of our top side, if you don't mind. So we're going to take one medium AA gun down so we can add two light AA. And there we go. Why is that 12 and a half? We're not doing a 12 and a half inch belt. Jesus. 18 inches of penetration with 16 inch guns at a thousand yards. Granted, you should not close to a thousand yards. That's a terrible idea. But you can do it. Just very ill-advised do you want to do 14 i feel like that doesn't leave us much in the way of build space so i think we're just going to stick with 13 i think that's fine but we did 14 on the aki but that was just because of uh why was that i think it might have been something with the speed Something to do with the speed made us have to do that. Otherwise, it was going to be a battle cruiser. But that's not an issue now. Due to changing requirements for what qualifies as a battle cruiser. So, I think we can do this. I mean, I could take down the secondary gun ammo. And I think 629 weight is probably fine. Or, excuse me, the secondary gun armor, not ammo. And I think... 629 is plenty of weight left. Now, one thing I'm curious about, anybody have better... Um, yes, the U.S. has quality one 16-inch guns. Mm. But they have worse torpedo protection. Oh, no, excuse me. They have better torpedo protection. I read that wrong. They have access to three, but I only have two. Hmm. Three or 3,000 yards with quality one, which we'll get eventually on our own. Hmm. 
I would probably build it in the U.S. But I don't think I want to. Oh, right, I'm broke as shit. How much was it? Oh, Jesus Christ, 8,000. Oh, communist coup in China. Oh, well, thanks for the extra money now. Italy wants an alliance. Well, Italy, who hates you? Uh, the Germans, the British, and the French. Um, you're allied with one of our old, longtime allies, Russia. We might be wanting to just go ahead and do that again, because uh, it's generally worked out in our favor. But this is probably leading to another fucking war against the British and the French and the Germans, because I don't know what it is with the British, the French, and the Germans. They're not at each other's throats quite as much as they usually are. It seems that in this campaign, they all said, hey, let's go and pick on Japan. And they haven't even done a great job of picking on us, honestly. We've generally come out on top at the end of the day. It hurts us a hell of a lot, especially when it comes to dealing with... Britain, why do I feel like your budget used to be higher? I mean, you have twice my fleet tonnage, which isn't surprising. But I feel like your budget used to be higher. But it's possible I was looking at the wrong value, and that's why I think that. I might have been looking at fleet tonnage thinking it was your budget. And it wouldn't have shocked me if it was your budget. Yeah, let's go ahead and ally with Italy. Okay, now we can try that again. No, try again. Thank you. What the fuck is this? Uh, I don't know what you're smoking, game, but this is not a great design. Four and a half is fine there, generally. Why are you trying to do... three-inch guns when I have four-inch guns? And why are you trying to do five inch, or excuse me, six inch secondaries when I would do? I don't know what the fuck the game was thinking with that. I really don't. Get rid of the torpedoes because I don't care for them. Okay, yeah. This is. what's missing also did anything change nope okay there we go um what happened to all of our weight that we were saving we had 600 freaking tons before now i got 65 that don't seem right were the turrets like 12 inches or something? Might have been 13 and 4. That sort of adds up. Um... And we'll just go ahead and say this is a late dreadnought already, because why not? It's close enough as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Uh, this is now the Tosa instead of the Iki, and instead of the... whatever the hell the other one was called. The one that was 40,000 tons that we designed and then never built.
Yep, I think this is all good. Now that we have the money, let's go ahead and blow it all. Um, also, speaking of blowing money... Let's get uh, four of those. We'll alt one so we don't blow all of our money. And go bankrupt. So need to pause that for now. Okay, those guys are still working up apparently. So you guys are on station. These guys that are on foreign station can come back home. This is the only ones. Looks like it, yeah. Okay. Told you guys to go to Northeast Asia. I didn't, but I thought I did. Now we can build purpose built CVs. Let's go ahead and see if we can design one of those. I don't think we have the money to actually de finalize the design, but let's see. How large can I build it? 20,800. Not a fan of the number. Five inch. Uh, why are they casemates? Screw you, game. We're not doing casemates. Yep, that's fine. Uh, what do you mean there's a... Where, where's the center line that you're referring to? Oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, no, okay, that one I get. Uh, get rid of the... Those foreign starboard ones. Oh, okay, no, we need eight six-inch guns right now for this because reasons I do not agree with that at all I am personally not a fan and those need to be four inch guns so that we can have them be secondaries or excuse me have them be dual purpose rather narrow belt why do you have narrow belt Is there a limit on the number of planes we can put on there right now? No, there isn't. Well, you know, beyond what we can actually fit on it. I'm not a fan of six inch guns, though. I'm really not. Like, why? Got to have unit machinery, that's important. Three inch belt, just because that makes you basically impenetrable to, uh, you know, small caliber uh, guns, like uh, most of what you'll find on destroyers and secondaries. Although admittedly at this point, pretty sure a five inch secondary can easily go through three inches of belt armor. So it's not strictly true, but at least it offers some protection. I'm not a fan of the design. Again, I don't like six inch guns on my carriers. I, I much prefer five inch. Just because I can dual purpose them. Technically, you can dual purpose six inch guns. They're not great at it. And you're not supposed to be getting into a fight anyway, so you don't really need the extra firepower of a six inch gun. At some point, we'll realize, oh, we don't actually need to do that. But that'll be a while. 
So it's a question of do I want to go ahead and at least get some carriers out now? Or do I want to say they're not particularly great designs for now and just wait until later? I think I'm going to go ahead and say screw it though and do it, even though I'm not a fan of the design. 50 aircraft, which is quite a lot, honestly, for an early carrier. Can I do director? I can. Wonderful. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Do I have the money for it, though? Just barely. Improvement, new naval. There we go. We're actually finally getting some decent range improvements for once. Uh, I don't have the money to actually do it right now, so let's hold off on that. Can you go faster than... Nope, you cannot go faster than 24 knots. So we're going to avoid doing a replace machinery on you unless we absolutely have to at this point. Can I replace you and you with second, or with uh, dual guns? I can. Wonderful. Um, I should be able to do... Yes, but they have to be double, or excuse me, triple mounts, which I'm fine with. I would love for you to have some amount of heavy AA factor if we can. Looks like 12 is the most we can do there. Which is still a fair bit. That's 15 heavy AA factor. Okay. 10. 10 is fine too. Although I prefer 12 just because it makes more sense. So we'll, we'll cut down on the rounds. We'll do 200 rounds. That's fine. Give you the increased elevation. I don't think we have quality one five inch guns, and we don't. God, this is also an expensive rebuild. And cutting a little close there. Screw it. Let's go ahead and get those going. Gonna have to pause another one of our new light cruisers. Because we don't have the money. Diesel engines. Wonderful. They're not particularly useful immediately. Um, so diesel engines have an advantage over oil and turbine. They have better acceleration, so your ships can speed up again faster. Um, they also have an advantage if you decide to give your ships long range, extreme range, etc. They don't have as much of a penalty or as much of a, a weight requirement for those. Um, and the reality is we might want to actually look into long range ships now. The reason for that is simply because... If we want to go over to the U.S., we don't have a way of fighting them. We don't have bases in the Central Pacific. We could have taken Midway and tried to build it up, but that would have been expensive and time-consuming, and by the time we did it, it probably wouldn't have been particularly relevant anyway. Because we would have gotten diesel engines. And at that point, I can just do long-range on ships instead. But there is a secondary tech, if I recall correctly, with uh, diesel that will happen down the road that cuts down on the weight. But for a short while, it is a... It has some improvements, but it actually, I think, weighs more overall than um, oil and turbine. But eventually, it'll actually weigh less. Uh, 
Um, no, you know, I'm fine with him. You know, he's above average. I mean, he's not great, but hey, I'll take him. Just, you know, maybe put him in charge of a ship and he might change. Better float plane scout. That's nice. Hmm. Germany. We could be friends, but we fought each other a couple of times now. But I'll sell it to you. Because I need the money more than anything else. If I didn't need the money, I'd tell you to go pound sand. Damn, Russia and Italy broke their alliance. Um, thanks, but I don't have the money. Oh god, no. No. Regional war? We're gonna sell to both sides. That gives us a little bit of money actually coming in. Okay, now the question is, do we bother doing upgrades on these ancient, ancient? Oh, never mind. These are ones that are broken too. So we're just gonna go ahead and scrap the, uh, 300 ton destroyers because we don't really have a use for them anyway. Five hundred ton ones though we kinda sorta maybe still have a bit of a use for. If we can fit the upgrades on them. Oh realistically I think that's trying to put makeup on a horse. Honestly, probably anything under than under a thousand is not really worth keeping around at this point. We should probably just do a complete mass overhaul of our destroyer fleet. Yeah, anything under a thousand, we're just gonna go ahead and mothball to save money. And um we're gonna queue up a few more of the Shiokazes. Go ahead and queue up two. now and hope that we get a bit extra budget soon. World economy recovers after a crisis. Well, that'll give us a bit more budget. Yeah, let's try to get a new torpedo bomber. Uh, that's not quite enough to afford to actually queue up another Shiokaze. Prime Minister is asking if we can guarantee victory against France if war came. Well, France's ally is the U.S. And again, the U.S. didn't do anything the last war, and they're sure as hell not going to do anything this war either. But we don't have a way of fighting France. I mean, I'm not going to... You know what? No, fuck it. I'll take the budget. I'll take the prestige hit in the budget. Thank you very much. I'm lying my ass off to him. Because the real reason we can't fight them is not because of a lack of funds. It is simply due to a lack of ability to actually put units in place. The logistics aren't good enough. We would need to take, like, India off of Britain to be able to fight in the Indian Ocean, realistically. Because it's just way too expensive to build up Burma. Four more Shiokazes. Although we should probably be looking into building those 2,000 ton destroyers now, but Shiokazes are good enough for now. We'll stick with them for a bit longer. They also haven't actually seen any combat either. And France and the U.S. broke their alliance, and France is offering to sell me something. I'm going to, or excuse me, the U.S. is offering to sell me something. We'll take it. Uh, no, we're gonna take a hard line. We don't want to be friends with France. Not because of this campaign so much. I mean, sure, we fought them twice. Is it only twice? Yeah, twice sounds right. Um, but it's more so a previous campaign that I played on my own as Japan, where France forced a peace on me. 
when I had my first war with China. Or was that this campaign? I don't think it was this campaign. I'm pretty sure that happened in my own personal campaign that I was playing. But I might be crossing some wires there. But either way, I don't like France. I hate them. And I will hate them in every campaign that we play, so long as I remember it, where France is somebody we fight. And okay, we just got better 5-inch guns. Wonderful. Okay, so Kubas, you guys go in. Time for you to upgrade your secondaries. Jesus, why are those rebuilds so expensive? All you're doing is slapping better guns on them. I could understand if I was adding more guns or something, it'd be more expensive, but all you're doing is just putting better ones on there. God damn, those are expensive. I'm gonna hold off on those. Take it. The Aishi is better. We could queue up another Shiokaze, but we're gonna try to build up our coffers as well. Better submarine effectiveness is nice. We got some very good reliability. We're already up to about 80% reliability. Damn. Better airship performance. Not that we care about our airships. Uh, some dude that we don't know his stats shot somebody else who's below average. Um, well, I mean, such things do happen and there's no proof it wasn't an accident, is there? Better ASW is always nice. We proceed to lose money. Average gunnery expert disciplinarian has been arrested as a spy for France. No. You put a blot on the honor of the Navy. He deserves the most severe punishment the law allows. So I just remembered, you need to be replaced. Wonderful. Surpassing the design speed is always nice. Now we decided we can build 10,000 ton light cruisers when we're trying to get our 8,000 ton light cruisers out now. Okay, time to get rid of these Yoshinos because we can't actually use them because they're also suffering from the ship file not found. So... Scrap that one. Oh, the Nishans need to go in for refits. Yeah, we haven't really been doing a great job of keeping up with the refits. Let's let's try to correct that now. We need to do it. Double turret those also. Turn them into dreadnought ones now. They don't need to be looking like the pre dreadnought turrets anymore. God, how old is this thing? 1903. Oof. Still there, 25 years later. Because we can't exactly get rid of it. That's going to be a six-turn rebuild. But wonderful, we got a couple of other stuff. What's this? There has been an up... Internal upheaval in Rhodes. Italy is sending a force. Um, I'm allies with Italy. 
One thing that should be noted, am I going to issue an ultimatum to Italy to tell them to back down? Probably not. But I might say, Italy, Italy, maybe we should just send an international force instead. You can lead it. Yeah, I'm not going to take the prestige yet. I'll take the slight increased attentions. That's fine with me. I, in some ways, prefer that Italy just ignores it. So they took Rhodes, which does now allow them to easily be capable of invading Cyprus and Egypt, if they so choose. I'm completely forgot that Russia took Tunisia in a war. I think that was one of the wars we had against France. I think that was the big war that we had against France and Britain. I don't recall if Tunisia was owned by France or if it was owned by Britain, but I'm pretty sure it was France. That would make the most sense. Okay, get rid of another Yoshino. Nations also need to go in for a refit. They have a fairly extensive one as well because they have not gotten several upgrades. I'll survive with the penalty, thank you very much. I don't care enough for it. You're having issues with weight. You would need to do a replace machinery to be able to actually afford this. Which makes this even more expensive. Which then begs the question, do I want to do it? I can't increase your guns unless I decrease the size of the guns, which I don't want to do. It's an expensive rebuild, and it's five nations. So that's, what, somewhere north of 10000 a month for 10 months? God, that's expensive. I think we're going to say no to that. Speaking of, add the rest of the nations in, because apparently they uh, they don't have them. We have not been particularly great about remembering to put stuff into uh, divisions. Just, uh, just ignore that. Just, just, just ignore that. New cruiser from France. Um, that's the best that can come up with. We have nothing to fear from France. Bit more maneuverable. That's a worse design. Nakajima. Just build me a better version of the current one that I'm using from you. China wants to buy. Oh, China. Fuck it. Yeah, I'll sell it to you. I don't think that actually benefits us at all, realistically, but I'll sell it to you. Because we're clearly not going to be going to war with you again. The game just refuses to let it happen. Okay, a bit tougher of a naval patrol craft. That's fine with me. Budget, let's see. Can we... God damn, that's expensive. I mean, I should have expected it, but Jesus... It's more than I thought. Let's go ahead and scrap all those. Because we have a lot of Shiokazes coming out now. Don't know if that was necessarily a one-to-one -one trade, but we'll figure it out. Spain and America signed an alliance. Prime Minister has returned from a state visit to France, bringing home a proposal to solve outstanding sources of tensions between our nations. 
What is our response? Our response? Tell France to get fucked. We can never trust France to keep agreements. Better arm for conflict and beat them soundly. Again, because why not go for three? Bit better range. Bit faster. N not quite as tough. You literally lose half your toughness. But I like the extra range. To me, range is very important. So we're going to take that. Kawanishi has a new fighter, and it is worse. Worse firepower, worse maneuverability, a bit tougher. But also a bit faster, but less range, and I care about the range still, so no. Let's send the Miyokos in for a refit. These shouldn't be quite as bad. Oh, you're not going to let me do this because you let me... You let me do it before. You literally let me design the ship with it. But now I can't do a refit because now this is an issue. It wasn't an issue before when I designed the ship, but it is now. No flag was put on the ship to say, hey, this is going to be fine going forward if this changes for requirements. So we will not be able to upgrade the Miyokos. Um, at least, you know, not without probably me modifying game files, and I quite frankly can't be bothered to deal with that. So the Miyokos are going to stay as they are. They literally can't even improve their um, fire control because of that. Fun. Okay, let's, uh, Tosa. God, we have some improvements now in things like armor since the Tosa was designed, so maybe now we just say change of plans and delay it further again, because we're never getting a new Dreadnought out. I'm just going to be upfront about it. We're never getting a new Dreadnought out. Everyone's just going to have to get used to it. Because like I said, we've had armor improvements now. And I want to have those armor improvements on my ships. You know, so that they're less likely to get murdered. I mean, they'll probably still get murdered, but it's a little bit less likely now. Yeah, I'd have to shave quite a bit of weight somewhere to be able to... issues with this now oh yes because it was what like 13 inches there no that wasn't right oh no you have the fucking centerline turret i forgot that was the issue there we go four and a half inch turret top uh, move that back just a little bit And there we go. So we can design yet another one. But this one's actually coming out probably. Maybe. We'll see. It depends a little. We'll figure it out. need to shave quite a bit off or decrease the speed to 28 knots which I mean 28 knots is fine isn't 28 knots what we designed the no the Tosa is actually 29 okay for some reason I thought the Tosa was 28 I mean I wouldn't mind being able to use diesel propulsion but it might be worth just waiting until we get the second tech that makes it significantly cheaper in terms of weight.
So I'd forego unit machinery, which I would advise against, generally speaking. I do find it funny that we have 18 and 20 inch guns, but we don't have like 19 and 17 inch guns. And we didn't quite figure that out yet. But do we do this? Do we hold off yet again on getting out our dreadnoughts? Or our next generation of dreadnoughts? Well, it, all, it is better torpedo defense. It is torpedo defense 3 now as well instead of 2. And then, like I said, we got the other armor improvements. So, you know what? Yeah, screw it. We'll do it. We'll wait. Why do I feel like that's weaker? I swear that was like 18 before. But then again, I think that's relative to our armor tech. So that's probably why. Our uh, armor penetration abilities have not improved um, at the same pace as our armor protection. So... That, yeah, that's probably why that happened. Okay. I can live with that that explanation. So yeah, we'll do it like this. This is fine. This is fine. We'll hold off. My timer went off right as we were as I was saying all that, so we'll be back next part where we will be yet again. Yet again. Maybe finally getting out the next generation of dreadnoughts. It should be noted. We are very far behind on dreadnoughts. We are literally just barely above China. We need to get some brand new dreadnoughts out. But dreadnoughts are expensive. Which is not a surprise. But they are stupid expensive. In fact, China's building a third dreadnought. So, uh, yeah, we really need to... We can't have China beating us on dreadnoughts. That's just not right. Like, at all. And technically, two of our dreadnoughts are former battle cruisers. Oh, oh, yeah, really? Really? When the fuck did you design this, China? Oh, 1920, okay. Okay, I'll forgive you then, China. You still are doing torpedo tubes on a 1920s dreadnought? Why? Also, I'm pissed that you have 5-inch dual-purpose guns. And I don't. That upsets me. That upsets me very much. These are some horrid designs by China here. Oh, you never rebuilt your cruiser fleet, did you? Yeah, no, they never rebuilt a cruiser fleet. They have Two dreadnoughts with one on the way for a total of three. They have two battle cruisers from the late 1910s and two CLs. China, this has not gone well for you at all. I mean, you're doing fine, I guess, technically speaking. Oh my god, we outpace Italy in terms of budget. Where is Italy spending their budget? Oh, um, by completely ignoring armored cruisers. I guess that makes sense in a sense. I wouldn't do that. What the hell kind of ships are are you using? Oh, you're still using early 1910s designs for a lot of your dreadnoughts. Okay, that makes sense. And your battle cruisers. Okay. So almost 20 year old designs for some of your biggest ships. Okay. I guess that explains why you have the budget you do. Well, not the budget, but the ability to, you know, afford this stuff. Because, mm, God, I would not send the An Andrea Doria here out to fight anything. 10, 12-inch guns, 21 knot max speed in this day and age? Let's look at what the best thing the, the French have. The best thing that the French have that we have information on that doesn't have a broken design uh, is the Condorcet. Nine 13-inch guns, which is not a great design either because it has a midship turret. What the fuck are you doing? 24 knot max speed. 
What the fuck are these dreadnoughts? These are some hideous dreadnoughts. I don't know what, what the AI's ship designs are doing here. And I think it's partly because of a very different design philosophy. The AI took the uh, decision to say, hey, we don't need big ships. We want fairly small capital ships. I mean, these are, you know, in the 20s, they're just barely breaking 30 with the Justice here and the Charlemagne which I think are basically just clones of each other. But they're different ship classes, so I can only assume... Okay, yeah, you're nine 15-inch guns, and then you're nine... What the hell, France? What the hell? You went from 15-inch guns on the Justice to 12-inch guns on the Charlemagne. What are you trying to figure out? 15 inch guns or 12 inch guns why not just do 14 be normal france do 14 if you want to upgrade from 12 but you don't have 16 do 14 that's what we did with the yashimas they're 14 inch gun turrets for a reason that is a 13 inch belt that is an 11 inch belt excuse me wrong Looked at the wrong design. And then you went back to 15-inch guns with the Messina three years later. Both of these are 1917 designs, but they have very different design philosophies. That's a 954664 with 12 inches of belt armor. 91246 or 146 and 64, which is the exact fucking same armaments except smaller main guns and an extra inch of belt armor. There's no fucking way this information is in any way accurate. There's just no way. There has to be something more you've done with it. There's no way the weight savings of going with 12-inch guns over 15-inch guns. Oh, you have some medium AA as well. Okay. Now that that weighs a ton, there's no way you only add an extra inch of belt armor. No freaking way. I would have added speed. 21 knots is not very fast. I mean, let's look at our ships. My armored cruisers can outrun your dreadnoughts. And I'm pretty sure they can pen it. I mean, you know, 10-inch or size 10 guns doing 10 inches of belt armor at 1,000 yards, you know, probably isn't pending it. But nonetheless, whatever. You know, they can... I don't... I don't know what the fuck the AI is doing with these designs. They're not that good. You know, I see people on the Reddit saying, you know, that the AI is, you know, better. And I'll agree, the AI is, in my opinion, actually in many ways better than Rule the Waves 2 AI. But I still don't think these designs are particularly great. I really don't. I, I legitimately think these are terrible designs for a lot of these. And only the, the freaking British are realizing, hey, we should build bigger ships. They got a 40,000 ton... A uh, battle cruiser here with 16 inch guns. Who the hell has dual purpose five inch secondaries that the Chinese got it? Because it's not the French, as far as I can tell. It's not the British, apparently. It's the Russians. Russia. I think it's Russia. I think Russia gave the Chinese. No, okay, no, the French do actually have it. They're just not using five-inch guns on everything. And, okay, the British do as well. Okay. 
The Germans don't, though. No, they do. They just haven't upgraded some of their ships to have it yet. Okay. Okay, never mind. I'm just the only person running around without 5-inch dual-purpose guns, which is annoying because I love 5-inch dual-purpose guns. They're the best dual-purpose guns. Followed by 4-inch guns. 3 inches aren't really worth talking about. And I would never do 6-inch dual-purpose. They weigh far too much for what they give you. But 5-inch guns, oh my god, they're the best ever. The absolute greatest. And yet we don't have them. We'll survive. We at least have, you know, dual dual purpose or twin dual purpose four inch guns at least. You know, that that's nice, I guess. In the meantime. But someday we'll get dual purpose five inch guns, right, game? You'll give it to me, please, maybe. Do I have to go kill the French for it? I'll do it. I mean, I was doing it before. I'll do it again. Maybe throw in the Germans. Maybe they can actually try to do something this time. Instead of get their ass handed to them in a single battle and then turn tail and run. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for this part. I will see you all next time where we will be, um, as I mentioned before, trying to finally actually get out a, a, our, ne our next generation of battle uh, or dreadnoughts out. Because we need to do that some point we just haven't because we haven't had the money nor the time to really try to rebuild but the game seems to be trying to actually give us that time now and now that i said that we'll get another war with france next part i'm sure until next time goodbye and farewell